What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Bearded Brewer TV with your host, Bearded Brewer. I'll make it short and sweet, I'm trying to get everything set up so that I can brew tomorrow um, before work at a busy weekend. Um, as always, we have a um, three-part show with a little bit of extra that I talked about on the last show pertaining to the uh, 100 subscriber free giveaway. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, uh, we'll get to On Tap. And On Tap today, this week is brought to you by Blackout Ski Mass. For those people that don't want you to know, they're drinking shit beer. All right, on tap. What do we got here? Well, yesterday, actually it was Monday. Monday I did a uh, double brew. Uh, I did a uh, Pliny the Elber, Elder uh, clone, Clement style. Um, and then uh, I did my uh, father-in-law Prohibition Citra IPA. Now, I took uh, some advice from um, Jake CPU Nut, um, went on and looked at a, another version of a, um, a Citra IPA, and then I talked to a buddy of mine who is the uh, brewer at Big Bear Brewery uh, here locally, the master brewer, and he was telling me that Citra is uh, really hard to work with because of the alpha acid. So what I did was I used Magnum for the bittering, and then used uh, three ounces, uh, 45, 20, and then I believe it was 10 or 5, somewhere around in there. I didn't really take notes. Um, but I did those on Monday. Uh, I'm getting ready today, tomorrow, to do Stone Ruination. Uh, IPA Clone, which is in this book. And then Friday, I'm going to do the Stone 10th Anniversary. Um... Ruination 10th anniversary, which is also in that book, that uh, gives it. It doesn't give you the exact count, but it gives you percentages. So if you have uh, beer tools, beer smith, you know whatever, um, I guess whatever hardware or software or whatever you're using, you can kind of get pretty close. And then the reason why I'm brewing during a week is Saturday, and I'm gonna throw this in here just uh, real quick uh, because I can. It's my show. But my son is being honored um, by the maestro of the Symphony of Americas. So he has been selected to go to the show here locally. And then he is also going to uh, have the opportunity to go backstage and, and meet him. And this all transpires because of uh, his uh, making the Alpha Honor Roll uh, straight A's for a second time in a row. Not too bad for... Uh, um, eight going on nine, so congratulations to him. Okay, uh, moving on. Next section here that we got to talk about is the question and answer, and this one's brought to you by Craig Tube, the modern day Messiah. Question today was actually thought of this morning before I decided to do the uh, the show was whirlpooling, whirlpooling. Now, I did a little bit of reading here and research, and there's some ways that, or different ways that people are doing it. And my question is, is if you do Whirlpool, do you do it before you cool down, after you cool down, for how long, and is there really a reason to let it settle for 15 minutes? And then finally, does it really matter um, what kind of chiller you use? If you use a plate chiller or if you use an immersion chiller. Now, I've read and they've talked about that if you're going to use a plate chiller, that you're supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes and then run it through the plate chiller, which gives all the um, suspended particles to, to fall down Um basically dropping it out of suspension so that you're not plugging up your plate chiller. And then if you have an immersion chiller, when I had one, the way that I used to do it was, you know, I'd put it, put the immersion chiller in 15 minutes, do the whole sterilizing thing, run the, run the cold water through it, 
I mean, everybody knows how this works. And then you just uh, let it have at it. And then I would whirlpool around it while it was chilling. Um, thinking that it was going to defeat two purposes. One, you're doing your whirlpool uh, to drop or to bring together all of your uh, suspension into the middle. Um, also bringing out the flavors, the alpha acids of your hops. And then at the same time, creating the whirlpool, which is uh, the same thing as a heat exchanger where your, um, I don't know the exact word, I can't remember, but you're transferring the heat into cold water. So I'm not really sure. I have a, I built a counterflow chiller, so I really don't um, mess with the merchant chillers anymore. Um but the way that I do it is at my zero, my flame out, is I'll add in the last addition, turn on my pump, and create my whirlpool, and let it go, put the lid on it, let it go for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then strain. You know, I've got the hop spider from Main Brew Guy. Thank you very much. And then... uh you know, let it drain out, and as it's draining, shut the whirlpool off, and then run it through my counterflow chiller into my carboy. So, I know that was long and drawn out, so the questions are, when do you whirlpool? Do you whirlpool after cooling your wort, before cooling your wort, for how long? Is 15 minute rest for suspension to fall out too long, or does anybody really care? And does it matter on the device? Um, immersion chiller I guess you could probably throw in counterflow and uh, plate chiller so again there you go uh, that is the question and answer section uh, I know it's a, a pretty lengthy one but um, just kind of trying to get an idea a feel out for that one now back to the uh, 100 sub scriber book drawing the book again is called ipa brewing techniques recipes and the evolution of the india pale ale by mitch Steele. and the back has a whole shitload of recipes ipa recipes black ipa um you name it it might be in here but anyway the way this is going to work if you comment, you're in the drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go from now until, let's see, today is the 20th. We'll let it go till the end of the month. Uh, what is it, 28 days? So I, I'm not real sure, but what I'll do is I'll end up posting it. So all you have to do is you have to comment. I will take all the comments, you know, per person. And I will put them into a hat. Of course, I'll do it on video so that there, you don't think that there's any bias towards certain people. I will pull the name out. Whoever gets it gets the book. It's a great book. It gives you the origin, the history. Like I said, the evolution of IPA. It's really interesting. If you like history, it's a great book. And again, it gives you techniques according to Mitch Steele and some of the other people that he interviewed over the certain, over the, I, I think it was years that he actually did this book. So it, it goes all the way from Burton on Trent to the uh, West Indies route to where it is today, home brewers, mass producers. Uh, it's just a fantastic book. It goes along with my other book, um, How to Brew. Um, I go into, go into it a lot. So that's the way it's going to work. Please post a comment on this video. I will take all the comments, put them into a hat. We'll probably do a special one. Maybe I might get a little crazy. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right. Last but not least is shout outs. I've got uh, one, two, three, four of them. One of them, I'm going to send a personal invitation out. Uh, but anyway, let's give us, get started here. I've got Kev MCD. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for subscribing. And again, welcome to the show. Uh, we have Dula Hand Brewing. Thank you very much. And I appreciate your subscription. 
We also have Brew Your Own For Life. I've seen you around. I've seen a few of your videos. I've heard people talking about you. Um, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and um, being part of the Beer Brewer TV epidemic, revolution, whatever you want to call it. And last but certainly not least is Glitch777. Sir, next time I am in Tampa. I go there quite regularly because my favorite brewery in the whole wide world is in Tampa. I love Cigar City. So the next time I'm up there, I will send you an invitation to join me. Let's get absolutely stupid and have a good time. So with that being said, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Beer to Brewer TV. Uh, oh, I've almost forgot one thing. Clements, I'm working on your Roger Rabbit and your request to see me in some type of thing with, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, again, I wrote it, but let me personally say happy birthday to you, belated birthday, Kevin. Congratulations on your anniversary. I'm glad that I could be part of it. And absolutely, you can use whatever you see on this show for your and everybody else's personal entertainment. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. Please like, share, subscribe, pass it on. Beer to Brewer TV. Have a happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.